Kingfish here, and I am back in Base Engineers. I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot tonight. I'm pretty well wore out, so uh, I've been uh, uh, going to probably just kind of fill in the base here today and kind of work around the hangar. So do something here real quick. Okay, had to make an adjustment there. Uh, let's see. Everything's still here as we left it from before. Uh, I'm gonna go grab my tools. And, uh, uh, and just kind of just build around here. Are they? Uh, I'm in the little one. I could have gotten from there, but there they are. That over there. Uh, that one. That. Have the gun and a little bit of ammo. Let's go check the refinery out. Drop that stone in there, get rid of it. Uh, pretty good. And... Yeah, we're, uh, we've got quite a bit of uh, minerals going here. I got plenty of this, so let's go ahead and just uh, grab this and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Filling in blocks today. Work on finish getting the uh, front uh, pretty well fortified. I'll leave that one there. This is what I want to get. Yeah, that should do that. How we're doing? We need to get at the here. We'll grab the see the rest of our queue. Oh, that's over in the small container. Oh, yeah, we'll go over there and grab that. Uh, and we got a bunch more in the assembler here. Let's uh, grab about 75 of the O's. And let's get our production. Oh, we ran out. What did we run out of? Uh... Oh. All right. Other oh, fineries working on nickel.
I guess we need to we can bump this up. Refinery should start. Uh, actually, though, let me put it. Okay, the assembler's starting to grab it. Okay. There it goes. Alright, we'll need to get some more steel into the queue. Get some of these going. And I can't remember. Yeah, let's grab this steel here. Oh, I burned through all of that steel that I had before. Oh, it's starting to make steel now. Yeah, it's grinding out that magnesium, so it's going to work. So there we go, it's got enough, and it should start going back to there. So, okay, let's uh, grab this, and let's go. Hey Dustin, how are you tonight? How was the day? change in weather will do that. And it's probably one of those springtime colds. You get allergies? That probably doesn't help either. Yeah, that'll do it. That change in the weather like that. Energy low. I think I played a little to cold front but yeah well that's the problem this time of year those things will come through like that and 
like you say, 80 degrees one day and then uh, 40 the next. I'm just kind of puttering around tonight. I'm not going to uh, uh, do a whole lot. I kind of wore out. I played a little too long last night, so maybe an hour or so tonight is all I'm going to do. No, no worries, no worries. You'll have plenty of time. Be sure to check it out on Steam. If uh, if you can do that, then uh, we might be able to play together. So. Well, I'm losing my thought here. Uh grab these out of here. I don't want those over there. And <laughs> Oh. Yeah. That's the problem. That is exactly the problem. Although I still get up about 5 to 5.30 in the morning. And uh, so uh, I start to run down in the evening. Yeah, you know, I'm sure. I I know he's going to have fun with it, I'm sure. What kind of PC you got? Okay, laptop? or desktop.
Okay. Let me know if you run into any problems with it. Oh, nice. I love, I love Steam. I, uh, that's where I have most of my games are on Steam. Excellent. Energy low.
Hi, Will. How's it going? Sounds like you're getting uh, steam and uh, going to get space engineers up and going. It's actually lacking weird. Okay. Yeah, once you get the Steam client loaded, and then you set up your profile and everything, then you should be able to start, uh, you should be able to, to add that game. That's no good. All right, I'm gonna have to plug that hole up. Oh, hey, Will. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure who's who when you're both chatting there.
Thanks. Have you been watching some of them? Eh, they're they're fun to do. I got a variety of them out there on that on YouTube. You was watching them. Yeah, I started, since I've started streaming, I'm uh, doing all my gameplay over here on Twitch, and then moving the videos over to, uh, over to YouTube. The gun one, uh, one, oh, on Twitch? Are you talking about the Borderlands game? Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite uh, favorite games. I got close to eighteen hundred hours between all of all of the Borderlands, uh, the three Borderlands Bane games, and then all of their DLC. I've never played Fortnite. I've uh, I just haven't gotten into any of the uh, free-to-play games, the online stuff. I, j I haven't played any of them, like Fortnite, Apex Legends, uh, and uh, a couple of the others. So just haven't done any of those. A lot of people play them. They're supposed to be a lot of fun. Oh, hey, Warta. I'm just messing around tonight. I'm not going to play very long, maybe an hour or so. I saw that you were in Space Engineers. Thought I'd kind of expand out. I'm going to try to put another refinery in just to speed things up. Another refinery and uh, assembler set up. Ah, yeah. I was up too. You kept me up too late last night. Man, I am just... Uh, it was all I could do to get going uh, tonight.
<laughs> yeah. I, uh... Uh... Yeah, it was, uh... A bit rough getting up this morning for me. That 5.30 was pretty early. Energy low. Yeah, I already done my dinners. That way I can... I always get my dinner done before I start playing. That's great, Dustin. So look for me on Steam. It's uh, just Kingfish. And you can send me a friend request. Energy critical. Okay, all right. I'll go get some energy. That's okay. I'm going to be playing Borderlands tomorrow night. Okay. Well, if it... That's cool. And then we can... Uh, uh, either try to, try to play some uh, uh, Space Engineers or... I wanted to play some Borderlands tomorrow night, so we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll just do whatever whatever it takes. You guys have fun at soccer. I think they uh, made just one account. It's probably going to be Will mostly playing, so... <laughs> no, <laughs> not tonight. Oh, where am I at? I'm trying to do something in the wrong room. My brain's not fully here tonight.
Spirit plating. And it looks like I need to get some of that. Actually, I want to do that a little bit different.
Have much of any of that stuff. Here, your plating. Grab that. those two things I need all tubes motors four things all right uh, let's get uh, those going get rid of those of those We'll go get some energy while I'm waiting. Wrong buttons. What oh, works tonight? up some of this stuff.
Hey, 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 CJ. Here, let me do something. Hey, CJ. Can you hear me? Here, CJ. Second. Oh, there we go. Burger was still in my hand, and when I logged in, I apparently had died. Oh. What in? What you were doing? Or, or in here? No, I was out oh. in my capital. That yeah, you know, yeah. Ship. Yeah. I logged off in the seat with the air going in the oh. cockpit area. Oh. So it had power. It had air. It had energy. But for whatever reason, when I logged in, I had to respawn. Oh no. So did you lose anything, or were you just had to? No, I had the basic tools and the six plates and I think six tubes I had put at my seat. Okay. Out of habit. So I already picked them up. So no loss. Okay. <laughs> That's where, you know, if you're going to log off, always log off with your stuff inside something because if you die for whatever reason, yep. you know, you just swing by, pick it up. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you got tier four tools. Yep, exactly. That's, uh, I've just been making a habit of throwing it in the one of the cargo bays just for whatever reason. So, yeah, I was just messing around tonight. I was putting in, uh, I got tired of uh, waiting on stuff, so I uh, built another refinery and another assembler. Try to speed up production. Well, the, actually, the easy way to extend these is if you can put a refinery next to another refinery and just, you know, keep running them in a line oh, that way yeah. because there's no piping. True. Uh, and then the assembler, you you run them off the, like the top or somewhere off the one side on the bottom so they're all okay. four sides are exposed and you do the same thing. You tack the next assembler to the bottom of the first and the third to the bottom of the second and you just, you know, that's how I've got my base. But it's a lot easier because you just add another assembler, no tubing. Okay, you know? yep. Yep. Uh, and that gets back to what I was going to show you as far as the, uh, well, the, the closed loop, but that's another day because we're only on for a short. You were told to yeah. go to bed early. <laughs> yes, I was told to go to bed early, and I made a point that I am going to bed early tonight. All right. So, uh, before you do anything, write down his name. Oh. What you're going to have to do is type that name out exactly how he put it and send the request to him. I tried to search and I couldn't find it. Nothing came up like the same problem we were having. Oh, okay. So, so if you type in cert, uh, that name, like add a send a friend request or something like that, Yeah. it should allow you to type in a name, type in exactly what he put and send it off. And then that way when they get back, or tomorrow they'll see that they have mail. Right. And then they exactly. can just accept, click you back, and then, you know, then yep. you get connected that way. Yeah. Which would be easier for them. They, I, I wonder if he just got his profile set up, so I wonder if it just had got there, filtered. There in. might be a delay or there might be an in-house, you know. Yeah. Don't let you do something for the first week, that kind of thing. Something like that, yep. Uh, it's got to probably filter through the system somehow. So, and they, he, he no more got it set up than when he uh, uh, sent the email out or sent the the thing in the chat here. So, I'm pretty sure that it probably hasn't filtered through. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I see what you're saying on the refineries. I, uh, and just kind of hook them together side by side. Actually, does make a lot of sense. Which, 
could easily I'm putting see. some uh, construction in front of the ammo. Oh, okay. All right, let's. Looks like the Gats have 23 each right now. Yeah, okay, so I've been having to move the uh, magnesium up front in the production queue. It seems that uh, it's not picking that up. Yeah, it's like I said, the closed loop will take care of all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's. We do have displays over here. Uh, they're in this one here, 13 of them. Yeah, they. I should be able to get to them from here. And that's... Uh, oh, I can use the computers. Take those. I think that's everything that I can use. Unless I need large tubing. Oh, that's what I lost. I didn't take my bottles out of my inventory. Yeah, how about you? Oh. So, and when you put your tools and whatnot in, put your bottles in too. Yeah, I, that's what I've been doing, actually. And actually, I forgot to grab my bottles. Are there two bottles there? Or were? <laughs> well, it, it, yep. usually you, you start out with two bottles, so it's just yeah. a matter of, you know, making them and you actually forget what it requires but you know they're they're pretty easy to come by once you get up to tier two or three yeah i just forgot once, to grab you, once them. you get the platinum the the tier Energy four tools low. are easy yes yep i just forgot to uh, grab them when i started the game tonight i pretty much completely empty my inventory although when i got back in the stone that i had picked up was still in there so didn't seem to want to get rid of that.
Grits. Have some of those. Um, I grabbed, I think it was 10 or 20 of them. They were in the third small cargo. Uh, there was some in the large cargo as well. Okay, the second assembler and stuff is up and running, and I've just I just queued up some stuff in there that we're gonna probably gonna need. So okay, I put that interior block there to unlock the next stuff, but oh, I wanted okay. to show you also how the interior blocks come with like little lights in them. Oh, so yeah. you can actually light a room up without putting a light in. Without putting a light in, yep. You just don't want to put them where they can get shot. You know? Right. That's the reason they're called an interior block. <laughs> uh, 
All right, what's next?
We are out of iron ore, so I'm going to make a couple of trips for it. If the guns start shooting at me, uh, man, uh, shut them down. Well, they shouldn't shoot at you. You're, they, I mean, you built them. They're your faction. I know. I know. I just, just it, say it. Yeah. It's, oh, you mean if they shoot ships? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, same faction. It shouldn't be an issue. It's just if it's a different faction, they will fire. Let's see what is going on here. Oh, because is it because I named my things differently? My hot bar is uh, that could be depending on how many you renamed. Right. Because now instead of it being a thruster, it's a thruster M. Right. Right. So oh, you may okay. need to redo them, but you'll need to do that unconnected. <sighs> That's the easy way to do it. Okay. Okay. Means I need to. It's like when I got in my game this morning, my miner, I had, you know, named most of the items, so I started putting an M, and then uh, I got to the cockpit, because I was going from the bottom up, and the cockpit said pi, and I'm going, I'm using M's, and it should be a P, P for pi, so I had to go back and change them all to a P. Uh, but after yep. I did that, then I went in and I checked all my, you know, my groups and all that. Some of my deleted and just made new groups. Okay. Check this out now. Let's. You've got 52, yeah, it's got to be your large container. You've got 52,000 iron. Oh, there is? It's, Did sitting, I... it's sitting in the large cargo. Uh, I looked at the wrong guy. I told you I'm tired tonight. <laughs> oh, God. I know we had the, I thought I saw the iron ore in there. Uh, all right, what am I doing? Oh. Here, I'll move it. You've got them all piped into the large, right? Uh, yes.
Okay, go in, uh, go into the uh, base. Start at the inventory tab. Uh, okay, I'm I'm disconnected at the moment. Here, let me finish getting these set up. Okay, that's set back up. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, start at the inventory tab, and you've added a refinery and an assembler. Make sure they got different names so that they're not both refinery two. But oh. make sure it's not the basic, because the basic is what's out on my ship. Right. And they're not completed, but that's not piped in. The others are. Sure. you rename them through the control panel but then I want to show you something because now you've added extras right I'm just trying to figure out uh, what to call what to call them a B C yeah you know one two three just as long as they have different numbers so yeah. you know what they are I will go refinery one two set I'll just uh, uh, Crap, there I go again. Okay, so we got refinery one, refinery two, 
And I probably need to do that with the assembler. Okay, I've got both of those renamed. Okay, we're gonna call this one the primary. And this is the secondary because they were the first two built. Okay. And I'll show you why. Way to go in the control panel. Okay, I went in there and I dropped the one off that. So all it says is assembler now. Oh, okay. Hit the keypad over on this side of the refinery and do the same thing behind you. The refinery itself, down below, see the little blue keypad? Yep. Go into that, which shoots you straight to it in the control panel. And whether it's one or two, knock the number off. So it just says refinery. All right. Okay. Okay, now let me go in and change the others to like, okay, the refinery is two for the other, so that works. And the assemblers too. So the original ones, are just the name. Okay. Okay, now when you go to make something, all the ores are in this large cargo now. Right. So you can actually multitask now because as it needs it, the assembler will pull it. Right. Now, if you have all the iron in assembler two, assembler one can't use it. Sure. Uh, so I store all my stuff in here for now. I don't have a closed loop, but that's what I do. My cargo is so big, uh -huh. I keep the ores at the top, and then I keep all the components below. Uh, but if you go to the production tab, look over above all the items, it'll say assembler with a drop down. And if you click the dot drop down, you'll see that it lists assembler, assembler two, survival kit R, which is mine, and a basic assembler. ROM, which is mine. So, go into the inventory? Production. Production. We'll look on the left side, and you should see all the components, right? Right. If okay. you look just yep. above the components, it'll say assembler with a drop down. Yep. Yep. And I see the... Uh... And if you drop down, you'll see where assembler 2 is. But mm -hmm. see, because this one has no number or letter or nothing, yep. it should come up first. Okay. every time you come to this page uh so you can you know queue up the plates here and okay then you can go in here you can select assembler two and make 100 motors and then bam you've got two of them going at the same time yep. Yep. But, but you can do that because you're based off uranium uh, when you're right. based off solar and batteries you, get, you gotta <laughs> make sure you have a energy back stock to let you run everything yeah exactly and when you do, you can you can have three or four refineries and assemblers, and because you have so much energy in reserve, you can run them all, make whatever you want, and they'll all run through because you won't run out of power before they're done. Right, right, yep. So yeah, that's that's the one nice thing, the fact that there's a lot of uranium. Uh, and whatever you queue up, the assemblers will only pull what it needs. So it's just a matter of taking the ore from the refinery for now and putting it into the cargo here. Right. And so, you'll see that I kind of put it in an order. Well, tier one, two, platinum's at the end, and then the gravel yeah. and the, the magnesium. And okay. then the ice is at the end. So your right. extra ice is in here. Now yeah. you could store the extra ice in one of these guys, but I'm gonna put a small cargo over by the med bay okay. and a sorter and it's going to pull all the ice over into that room. Okay. Because that's where the O2 is going to be, yep. the med bay, and the cryos. Yep, yep. And 
uh, a hydrogen oxygen generator and a tank. Yes. And then we'll be able to make that room airtight, which is what I'm working on. I'm working on that okay. while you're on, uh, you know, nickel dime, nickel dime. But get it up and running because apparently if I go to, if I log off on my seat, I'm going to die every time. So. Oh, so. So. In your, so when you got into here, you you died coming back into this one here. Well, I had to pick where I wanted to spawn, so I spawned up my ship, figuring it had been shot. Oh. And it hadn't. It was still intact, still had air, still had power. So I don't know what's up, but that means i got to go to sleep in a cryo. Okay. So I'm working on that room, which needs to get done, because once uh, William or Dustin come in here, yep. they're going to need a one for them also. Yep. Yep, you know, exactly. So they have a place they log off. Yep. All right. Uh, well, since we have plenty of ore or iron, uh, okay. Uh, you want to queue me up one display since you're over there? Oh, sorry, I just left. Uh, there, uh, okay, I'll get it. I'll the, get it. The cargo bay, there's a uh, uh, some displays, displays still in it. Yeah, there was only three and I needed four. Oh, okay, you got them already. All right. And if I queue up 10 displays and I drag it over in front of the steel plates, it'll make the displays first and then continue to make the steel plates. The steel plates. Well, that's how you do that. I was just canceling and then starting them back up again. But No, no, no. You just, you left click and you drag it, drag it to over. the first position and it will then be, start working on it if the materials are there. Yep. And then it'll continue whatever the second one was. So you don't need to right click it at all. Just you know, queue up how many you need, and then left click, drag them to the front of the line. Okay. Same way you do the the ores on the refinery. Yep. You got plenty of nickel. You you drag the magnesium over in front. Yep. You know. Yeah. And because the stone is in the first position, anytime stone gets in the system, bam, it's automatically processed and gone. You know, which is a good. That's how I have mine. So it yeah. always yeah. gets rid of the stone quick. And you get all that extra ore out of it. Yep. Energy low.
right now I'm in the process of unlocking the things I need for that room. Oh. Which this basic assembler and uh, refinery unlock, except I got to do a couple other things. And then uh, I can start making my tubing construction junction boxes and all that. So there was stuff that wasn't unlocked yet for the uh, cryo? Well, I'm starting out fresh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sure there's something I have to unlock for it, but I'm just trying to get to the tubing right now, the pipe work. Okay. Okay, those are all done, so I'm going to go in here, see if there's any components. Okay, your first box has got uh, a gun and Meteor gun storm ammo. Inbound. And it's also got the ammo for the turrets. The second box has got tools and then bottles. And okay. the third box over here, because none of these are connected. Right. The third one has the uranium component and the thruster component. Okay. So those can't be actually, you know, disassembled or whatever. Meteor shower? Is that what that was? I think it was a meteor shower. <laughs> I don't see no red. No, so there wasn't. There wasn't any red. I would have probably saw that. I, I think there was a meteor shower. I think, but I think I don't know. All right. Well, we know the guns are working anyway. Yeah, I'll put some more ammo in them when I get uh, okay. my hot bar set up again. They were full.
energy low. There's a red eight and a half away. Nice. Oh wait, it it's going up now, so it's going away. Okay. Thank you. 
You want three or four uh, cryos? Uh, we should put four in there, I guess. Yeah. This time it's my turn for the cat attack. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, Gets right a, up on the table where my mouse is and then lays down on my arm. That's exactly what... So I can't what, move my mouse. That's what Butts likes to do. She gets like right in front of me between the keyboard and me and, and the mouse. And I can at least move the mouse, but I can't do much typing. But I got smart. I bought a, a little kitty bed. Uh, last week and I put it on the edge of the desk here and she pops in it most of the time and just sleeps there I think the yeah I got a towel on the corner that he can curl up on and I still can move my arm yeah I think the fact that she just likes as long as she's somewhere near me then she's fine and especially if it's a soft bed then and she seems to be pretty happy with that which makes me happy as well How you doing on those cryos? Uh, unlocking up to them. I got the piping now done, so oh. now I'm just figuring out the layout. That's why, I've, you know, I got to make enough room for four of yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put two here and then two over behind the chair. Okay. Otherwise, I have to extend this room another three blocks. Yeah, two or and three you're probably blocks. you might start breaking out of the asteroid with that. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to stay in there. So I have two on this side and two behind the chair. Okay. Which will enable us to put names. Uh, corner LCDs you can put in front, down by like your foot, and you can actually name them like one, two, three, four, put people's names on them. Oh, okay. Uh, that way if Joe gets confused, he can look for the one that says Joe, oh. and then Joe knows that's his kind of thing. Right. Unless there's two Joes, and then you're in trouble. <laughs> Well, then you just mark one Joe, too, because yep. he is also a Joe, <laughs> hence Joe, too. True, true. But you spell it T-O-O, -O, not the number two. Okay. Uh... But you see this cargo box here. I'm going to pipe oh. into the hangar, which is close from underneath. Okay. And I'm going okay. to put a sorter. And all the oxygen is going to be pulled into this cargo. All right. And oh. then as the hydrogen O2 generator needs it, it can just pull it out of the cargo mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and make it. Yep. But if you want some for a ship real quick, you come in here, get in the corner here, pull some out. Mm hmm Because it, it, the oxygen is going to be coming in, and you won't be able to pull it out from, sure. like, where the miner is. But you can just come in here, grab some, grab and, some and run take back it, out. Take it back out, yeah. So now car and the medical is cargo, going to be here. Cargo boxes are airtight, then I... Yes. Okay. And these... The square... Con the Constructor the, junction boxes the, are airtight also. I thought that they were. The... That's how you can run your piping between floors with those uh, junction boxes. Yeah, but the the med's going to be over here, mm -hmm. off this corner. Okay. Which you can still get between the med and that door to get, come in here and get to the cargo. Get the cargo. There should be enough room to just. You know, walk right through, get it, and go right back out. Okay. But when, that way, when you come in the door, you turn left, get your energy and power. Okay, yep, yep. You know, it's right there coming off the door. And that's going to be like a expansion utility room or something for your kids to mess with. Sure. On the other side, it'll be the wall, which is going to be glass, is going to be two blocks past the chair to that direction. Oh. But this, I'm going to use glass okay. panels to seal it off. Okay, bulletproof glass panels yeah it makes it nice but that allows you to see in or see out yep uh yeah but this area here will be the cryo and the medical okay and the uh oxygen perfect perfect well you still got a ways to go here don't you well i gotta weld these back plates before i can put the construct the junction boxes on top okay Are these just... Because uh, otherwise it won't be airtight because the corner ones aren't welded. Okay, so you, uh, uh, we need steel for these? Yeah, steel plates. These okay. are just lights. All right. I can start welding these blocks up. Uh, yeah, I added four interior plates because they come with lights, and the lights will be basically right under the cryos. So oh. it'll kind of illuminate them. Okay. Uh, which is what these four here are. And then the back's going to be um, steel or conjunction. Okay, so these are interior plates. Okay. That's... I'll get rid of some of the steel out of mine because I ground two blocks. So yeah, it's this corner and then the back row. The ones on the floor because then it's going to be junction. Okay, so these junctions, uh, okay.
Energy low. I wanted to break up that row of uh, blocks, so it's kind of a separation between the two pairs of uh, oh sure, yeah, um, cryos. Hmm? And I see one problem right now. I was kind of wondering. I got one, but one spun it up against the other, so we're gonna have to move them down one. Yep. Yep, 
just add another floor and then I'll do the block. Okay. And then just need motors for this one, and yeah, the back row is done. Just need motors for this. Might have some. You're going to leave that one in? Is that what you're thinking? Uh, I'm looking at the chair. Now it's going to be up at the back side, so I'm yeah. going to see if I can redo the chair and unlock something. Okay. Otherwise, we're just going to move the chair either up one or over to the side, kind of, in the middle. Okay, that would give me it. So if I did a leg... Then I can do the chair. So I'm going to go up on the roof, drop a leg, grind it, and then come back down. Okay. Uh, do you have cryos unlocked? Uh, let me see. Depression, where are they? I do, actually. Okay, do the two behind the chair, and I'll do the two that are over on the side. Okay.
Pass. Play. Class display and computer. Okay, I'm gonna drop what I have. Okay. Which is pipes and tubing, so give me a second. Okay, so if it's not in the cargo, then it'll need to be made, but be sure to drag those other components up in here so we, you know, it's one place, we know what we have, we right. know what we don't have. Energy. And then I'm gonna grab some of these grinders. I only need 10, so. Okay. Because I put the chair in the corner so I can actually, the wall to the right is going to be two panels of glass. Which oh, works oh. out perfect. Okay. I think I need to turn up my game sound. I almost died with no energy. Again? <laughs> might be good. <laughs> okay. Not the effect I wanted. Um, you mean with the lighting? Yeah. It, it's underneath it, but it doesn't do nothing as far as lighting, but that, you know, right. that's okay. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, first two over there are going to be medical, and then the other two, so... All right. Uh, I just... I don't know. Turn your lights off. Let's see what we got. Yeah. That'll be easy enough to add a little bit of lighting, and then we can adjust them to... Uh... Yeah, well, when I get the ceiling up, we'll just put one light in the middle. And... Yeah. yeah. And it kind of adjusts Not as it. bright, but widen it so it lights the whole room in a dim light. That's exactly. No yep. yep. Uh, let's see. Let's... Uh, displays. All right. Um, I'm going to go AFK on the chair. Okay. Um, 40 minutes behind and give him the dog a shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I let me get I was just going to finish up that other uh, cryo and and then I'm going to call it good. It's quarter after eight. So Good. I think we've got some stuff accomplished tonight. Now I'm going to play Borderlands tomorrow night. I, I need to I need to get another uh, uh, video up for YouTube for Borderlands, and I've been neglecting it. And so uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow night. And then I pretty much have uh, changed my schedule, so it's all space engineers except for Wednesday night Borderlands. Okay, we don't have air to them yet, so you don't want to log off inside of them. Uh, okay. Wherever you've been logging off, log off. I'll log off on the corner. Okay. And I put the materials in this cargo, uh, and I got generic tools, so the tools don't matter. Okay. You know, but um, I think I got one or two, and then I'll have the med unlocked and the cryo, and then I'll put those in, put the oxygen on the back side in this corner here and run the piping you know okay. i already dug out underneath you'll see okay you get these uh last of the displays and that'll finish out that one cryo but both of those will be complete so yeah it's looking Basically, good right here's where it's going to hook into the flight deck is this uh tube here uh, where, and it see. just runs to the wall underneath, and it'll come out by the cargo box. Where are you at? Oh, are you out in? Uh, you're out in the hangar. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, in there. Go go to the cargo box. Drop down, and then follow the floor. Oh, I see. Okay, I and see. You where come you're out at. right there. 
So the piping will go from here to the wall, yep. drop down, go underneath, yep. and then connect to the uh, cargo box. Perfect. And the cargo box is connected to you know all those junctions, mm -hmm. which the O2 Gen will be connected to also. Yep. So it's all a nice little small area all connected. Very nice. Very nice. But it'll we'll tap it in here, mm -hmm. and the sorter I'll put down there, so it's not out of sight. Uh, but it'll be actually uh, this is the shortest route to get the piping down there. Sure. Sure. That makes perfect sense. That uh, looks good. Yep. And you followed that all out underneath the uh, blocks there. Yeah, basically, I, I went under the floor and then I went under the floor out toward the hangar. And when I got to the end, I just went up. Okay. Yeah. Because that's where you had broke loose. Yep. So I just, you know, and then the piping, you just lay it as you go through there, yep. you know, and up because from this point back, airtight doesn't matter. Right. You know, once I and once I get all that piping done, I can then put the steel block in on the, in this room mm -hmm. and then run it up. Uh, it's going to be four blocks high because the panels are three by three. So the fourth block up in this room is actually going to be the roof. That's why I've got those yep. blocks there in the back. That's the beginning of the wall. Okay. okay. But it's got to go four up, and then when you get to the fourth, it just comes across as the, sure. the roof. So let's... But over on that side, it's six wide, which is two three-by-threes. Perfect. Looking, looking good. It's going to coming along, coming along. This here is going to be a glass wall, right, right across through and here. And then, yep, we'll knock out uh, a separate route because this does not need to be airtight out here. So we'll just knock out an alternate route into this area from the stairs. That, perfect. So we can uh, come off of here, over and then down into there. Yeah, and you see, I knocked the roof to an angle. Yep, I saw that. I didn't want I didn't want any problem getting into the first door because the door, which needs to be welded up, yeah, is going to be right at the bottom of the stairs. Right, because they're they're at opposing sides. Meteor the inner one's already done, inbound. but the outer one, you know, when yep. we get to it, but that's not going to matter until we get the room airtight. All right. And you can also put a shortcut in. Oh, from the hangar straight here. From the hangar straight in. this way. Yep. You know, if you want to. Yeah, actually. Uh, but otherwise, you know, follow the stairs, come down. Yeah. Uh, flying is the fastest way to get around. It is. It is. It's... <laughs> Although I put the gravity well in, it's, it's definitely faster. All right, I'm going to charge up. I'm going to go drop off all my tools. They already logged off, so yeah, oh, I'll okay. just pick up from there and get that room done. All right. Um, and like I say, you know, when I get the things unlocked to get the medical, the medical, I think, unlocks the gyro. So it's just a matter of moving the piece to piece. And when I build a oxygen generator, I believe that's what I need for the med. So it's just a matter of unlocking the stuff. Right. Right. And that landing gear I just stuck in the room right there, welded it, ground it, and that unlocked the ship items, you know, wheels and mm -hmm. control seats, which is what I needed for. So now I've got that done. Perfect. All right. Uh, okay, let's see here. So, you good with picking up again on Thursday? Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. But... Yeah, I just had steel plates if you want to drop all that stuff back in that cargo. Yep, I'm just putting uh, putting my stuff back uh, over in the large well, cargo. And... Just double left click. It oh. will automatically put it in there. Left, double double click. left click moves the whole stack oh, to okay. wherever the top container is. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. I am empty. And... Uh, let me go up to my usual spot up here in the hangar. And I'm going to call it good. 
All right, CJ, I will uh, talk with you on Thursday if you uh, don't uh, stop in uh, tomorrow night, so. Yeah, and if you get the chance, looks like Centurion's uh, doing his arc. Well, he's doing a new version of arc they're going to come out with. It's also role play. Okay. But we got the uh, voice to chat to work through Steam, so that works. Yeah, it's actually been working remarkably well. I've been quite surprised, actually. Uh, so, uh, I mean, you're coming through no, really clear. I don't know how I'm sounding, but... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, did you write Dust that name down for Dustin? I did. I got his name wrote down right here on the, on okay. the sheet. So. Um, in your search, do... Because uh, this is one of the guys of the Emporium crew I was telling you about. Uh, he's on right now. Uh, look for Cave 8 Gaming. K, K, eight, gaming. Yeah, when you exit out of SE, uh, search on Twitch for Cave Eight Gaming. Okay. He's their newest guy, which he's pretty funny. I mean, he talks. He, he's pretty good as far as out of the blue saying something. <laughs> but he's the newest one to the group. Okay. Which is Wednesday nights. I think it's still uh, Emporium, but that'll give you a chance to actually check him out. You know through All their right. streams right. and you know see if it might work out or not but yeah do your uh yeah. that game i actually i believe i have seen it uh two or three months ago i think someone got a hold of it and was playing it like uh this is what's going to be like or something like that because i remember seeing those robots oh those generation in fact, zero in fact yeah. it was old guy it was old guy gaming that was playing it yeah about four well, or see, five months we'll ago see. I'm I'm not gonna play that one tomorrow night. That one I'm gonna do probably. I'll just do some weekend stuff when I'm not online. Uh, that generation zero. Uh, I'm not real thrilled with the save function in it, and I'm still trying to really kind of work that out. I'm gonna be playing Borderlands tomorrow night, which is one of my favorite games. I've been playing it forever, and so that's what I'm playing tomorrow night. Yeah, and Fortnite. That's a you know cartoonish uh pvp shooter game yeah that's what uh, this is what dustin was asking yep yep uh i think will and, and dustin both have been playing fortnite a lot i haven't gotten into those because those are online or microtransaction stuff and all of that and i've just stayed yeah, away money from money that. money 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 exactly they may be free to play but you end up spending a lot more than you do for just a regular game All right, CJ, I will uh, talk to you uh, tomorrow night or Thursday night. Yep, okay, later. Okay, catch you later. Bye now. All right, this is Commander Kingfish, and I am out of here for the night. Uh, we had CJ in the house, and it was great, so I will catch you all later.